hi guys welcome back to my channel yes i know i know i know i know this is the sit down video um i haven't done this in a long time and it's a bit awkward i'm like i have to be professional and whatever anyway welcome to this video my name is Teresa Mamonde for those that do not know <laughs> yes i am zambian by nationality and yeah welcome before i continue hugs hugs kisses to everybody i know this year has not been easy <sighs> inhale exhale it's not been easy there's been so much death so much war earthquakes um <coughs> mental health uh it's it's been a lot it's been a lot and we all deserve hugs we deserve hugs and I love you guys so much and for anybody grieving for grieving a relationship grieving somebody you love grieving that job grieving whatever it is you're not alone and I see you and we see you so in this video I want to talk about things I have learned in 2023 there are a lot so I'll try to be very quick for those that I can explain or explain 2023 the first one will be god is not a man that he would lie it's impossible for god to lie we all know god is he doesn't lie everything he said is true and it will come to pass number two learning to <laughs> learning to listen to your guts most people say gut. i say the holy spirit because he lives in us and he tells us so many things we would have avoided so many things if we listened I would have avoided so many things if I listened. Yo, that one is very important. <laughs> I learned to pray in tongues. Oh my gosh, I will never forget that day. In February, uh, I think one of the men of God at church was preaching and then he led us into prayer and then he was leading us into praying in tongues and I couldn't believe it. I, up to now, I'm just like, what? that's awesome um learning to let go of people oh my gosh i think for me this started last year and this year it's gotten better and better learning to let go of people people that uh don't serve you and people you love you know sometimes we let go of people we love not because we want to let go but maybe because you're on a different path or maybe they were meant to be in your life for a season even though it hurts um letting go of guilt letting go of guilt like forget about what you did forget about your mistakes of course they happen what do you do you move forward you pick yourself up and continue moving do better from the last time try to continue doing better it doesn't mean just today you're going to stop doing what you're doing like if i'm drinking alcohol i'm a drunkard it doesn't mean if i say i stop drinking i'll just stop drinking today pace yourself bit by bit um i'm not always a victim <laughs> taking accountability oh my gosh this has been hard i i think i'm one person who apologizes and everything but like sometimes um i found myself not taking accountability and not, um <laughs> yeah so i'm not always a victim i always I also play a part in certain things so i take on accountability i did this i did that, that, that how do i move on how do i do better yes that works so well with people you love people you don't know and things like that so mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> it is okay to take a break and but don't give up um this is number six they're jumbled up um it's okay to rest 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 from work rest from whatever you are doing like take a deep breath if you need a day or two take a breather sit down watch movies sit down pray sit down sleep whatever it is whatever feels good for you to get your mental health back in check do that um family is everything family is people who are blood people who choose to be family so 
friends, blood, whatever. This, I, I've always known family is important, but this year has shown me that I couldn't have done it without my loved ones, without my family back home, back home without my family here, because yo, that has kept me going. Guys, <sighs> God can, the other one, seven, God can send strangers to help you. Never underestimate the people that God will send to you. Um, this year has been an example for me. I've been praying about destiny helpers and I've had so many strangers helping me. People that I don't know are the ones who come through for me. And that blows my mind and I'm really grateful and they've been super nice. Super, super nice. Um, I don't know what number I'm on anyway. Consistency is key. Consistency in everything that you do. I will give an example my skincare. Uh, I've seen so much improvement. Oh my gosh, being consistent and working out also being consistent. Whatever you do, if you continue consistently, you will see results. Uh, the other one is learning that the Holy Spirit is my helper, my standby, my comforter, my strengthener, intercessor, and advocate. Um, I can't lie, this year I've gotten to know the Holy Spirit more. Out here, okay, the Holy Spirit, stuff like that. But like, when I learned, uh, there was a sermon that, a series that was taught, I think in March earlier this year, by my, my pastor, I understood that, oh, okay, I have the Holy Spirit in me. I have always known, but like, okay, what is the function? Because the, I would get confused sometimes. I'm just being honest. But like, now I know, okay, when I need comfort, I can go to the Holy Spirit. When I need strength, I can go to the Holy Spirit. When I need help, I can go. Like, if, like, He's always there. So, we should be delighted. The Holy Spirit. I've learned strength. I never thought I had so much strength until this year. This year has taught me to be strong. Strong physically, mentally, and wow. <laughs> I feel. I love that so much. Um, the other one, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I think this is a, a Bible verse also. I'm stumbling upon my words, guys. I'm stumbling upon my words. This, this. <laughs> but yeah. No matter what you're going through, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel some people will say why do they put the light at that end of the tunnel but i have seen it in my life this year like i've gone through so much but it got better and it is getting better and it's gotten better and i'm just so grateful for that when you speak positively good things happen when you speak negatively negative things happen so there's power in the tunnel Let's speak positively about our lives and I've seen also, I keep on saying I've seen because this year has taught me a lot, like when I would speak positively, yo, I would see positive things. Negatively, you just wonder why things are just, even in the mind, when you think positively, positive things happen. The other one, taking care of yourself is key. Take care of yourself, your mental health. I always say this point, I've really enjoyed the skincare the bath time the eating what i want like but trying to eat proper food sometimes you don't always eat clean but drinking water exercising whatever taking care of you looks like to you and if, if it makes you feel good some people it's reading some people it's watching something some people it's writing some people, whatever it is, do that. Um, there is literally nothing that God cannot do. What God cannot do does not exist. There is nothing. The miracles I've seen this year, I've wept. I've, oh, I've, I've been shocked. I've everything. Wow. This year, the miracles, the definition of what God cannot do, I have seen it does not exist, I have seen it. Mm.
obedience is key being obedient in everything that you do and being obedient when god tells you really pays off i've not always been obedient i've not always been obedient like uh in certain things and this year it's not everything i've been what's the word i've not done everything i was supposed to do at the times i have i've really seen results and god likes an obedient child and Sometimes it's not that God doesn't want things to happen in our lives. He loves us. He's a good father. He's a loving father. But because we're not moving in his will, that's why certain things happen. Praise opens doors. Praise and worship opens doors. It pleases the father. That also really, really, really works. Imagine like excitement. He gets excited. So that and that just warms his heart. You are loved. You are loved. Even if you feel alone, you are loved. You are loved by the Most High. You are loved by your loved ones. Um, it doesn't matter if there is one person who loves you. There is God, of course. And then sometimes we, 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 we don't see the people around us who love us. We would rather go to other people. But like, Let's check our circle. Let's check the people who are who are loving, who come through for us. The people who are always there. Let's not take those for granted. So you are loved. Um, doing the same thing and expecting a different result is insanity. Oh my gosh. Huh. <laughs> Recently, I just learned that. Not that I didn't know. I just did the same thing and it came to bite me in the. <laughs> in the behind because i thought things would be different but like i did the same thing and we're back in the same cycle the cycle the circle yeah and just like repeated mistakes or you know what i mean sometimes yes we do make we do make mistakes we're human but like if you know that this thing got me in trouble last time or this thing didn't work out properly why am I doing the same thing? You know? So, yeah. I think I've just been <laughs> running and talking. But there's so much. Okay. There, there's one last one. Um, I think it also goes with uh, taking accountability. This one is uh, accepting being rebuked. I don't know if I phrased that well. But like when people rebuke you, when the Holy Spirit rebukes you, <laughs> it's not easy. But you sit down with yourself and listen and see where you can do better. So guys, these are the points. Uh, sorry, I was rushing, but I think some of them I've said them before. But this is what I've picked up this year so far. There is a lot more, but these are the ones I've picked up. I love you guys so much and thank you for rocking with me and staying with me this entire year i've not been as consistent but i've tried to drop videos i've tried to drop vlogs so i've been doing vlogmas watch my previous vlogs for, you, for those that haven't watched and comment like subscribe i love you so much next week will be my last video of the year thanksgiving video and then we move to 2024 we go bigger and better i always say that but i know i just know one day is one day i love you hugs and kisses to each one of you and god bless you tremendously bye guys